Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Admiral Markets webinar. Today is 13th of April 2015. My name is Nanad, and today we will see uh, five different setups, namely Euro Dollar Pound, Australian Dollar, Dollar Yen, and Dollar CAD. I hope that you had a good week. Prior week was uh, good. Uh, we had only one loss, and uh, we had uh, four winner trades. And definitely the trade of the week was GBPN. Uh, it could have been also Australian dollar, but GBPN uh, really was, was heading uh, in our direction uh, in very, very strong trend. So let's see that. And I just hope that this week will be also very successful. And as always, before we begin, our standard there is disclaimer. Online educational materials are developed by Admiral Markets as Estonia for a global audience. Therefore, please take into consideration that information this session may not be suitable for everyone. To get a corresponding information on charting conditions and any other detail, please visit www.admiralmarketsglobal.com, select your country of residence and contact an appropriate entity. Risk disclosure statement stating all possible risks associated with Forex market by accepting the risk you're also proceeding further with me. Admiral Market Security takes no responsibility for the formation accuracy. The analysis represents the personal opinion of the author, it's me, and in no way it represents the actual suggestion for a trade. These are not the MUK's opinions, so the website in the video is not a .uk website, but the globaluse.com website. Forest is risky business and this should not be taken as advice. It's a personal opinion only and this webinar is for information and educational purposes only. Hello everyone again. I can see people still coming in and now we are ready to check last week results. Okay, let's go. Fasten your seatbelts and let's see the results and then we will talk about uh, this week setups. Also, the bonus campaign will be also held in this month also. I think it's the end of April. So you're still, you can still apply for a bonus campaign where you can get up to 50% of the bonus on deposit, both for new, both for new and existing client. And also you need to make 0 0.25 loss per each euro bonus and you have 180 days to complete. This is the address where you can check the bonus, the terms, and of course, my advice is to use this bonus for a, mar uh, for, for a margin. So you're basically expanding your margin. You can withdraw it if you complete it, but my advice is to leave it and use it as a margin, okay? There is disclaimer, we have talked about it. Now, just a little bit more to say about session recap, trades, and, uh, and a few standard things which maybe some newcomers don't know of. You need always to give price a breathing room. So we usually enter within 5 to 10 pips of the predicted level if it's in agreement with your system. Respect your stop loss. Add a spread to your stop loss. And if you're buying, you need to add a spread to your pending order. We take only one position. We have the terms. Position trades, those are trend trades. And alternative trades are counter trend trades. Those are the terms we use for setups and analysis. Breakout trades and scalp trades can be done independently. So that can be a second entry. Usage of trailing stop is highly recommended. These setups are valid for today, tomorrow, and sometimes the day after tomorrow. Scalp trades also should be done at or very close to important support resistance levels. I prefer to do scalping at price. Calculated uh, those are levels which are calculated by historical levels, buyers and sellers, and Camarilla. You can add these levels to your system, pay attention to Twitter updates, because occasionally I may uh, <clears throat> come with an update, maybe advice or saying that one trade is in a nice profit, so you should pay attention to it. So pay attention to my Twitter updates and the term 
pips pool that is the maximum available number of pips you could have got on recap entries, guys. Now, many people ask me, well, how come that uh, we have 10 pip buffer? So, let's say, guys, that you want to, for example, sell euro at 10650 and the price came to 10640. Let's say that our stop loss is 30 pips <clears throat> and that your overall risk is, let's say, 0 0.5 lots. So, for example, if you trade with 0 0.5 lots, with 30 pips stop loss, that should be round about, for example, 0.8% risk. So you always try, try to go and to go with 0.3 to 0.8% of risk per trade. Okay. Now, uh, if you if 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 the price come and let's say that your risk is contained within 0 0.5 lots. Okay. Uh, Yen is asking, do we have a sound? Yes, we have a sound. So, guys, uh, we have a sound. Let's do a quick sound check. I think that we have a sound. Uh, sound is good, yes. So, Yen, please, you can restart. Uh, so, let's say that the price came to 1.0640. So, instead of opening 0 0.5 lots, you can open 0 0.3 lots, and if the price comes to 650, you can add another 0 0.2 lots, but you keep your stop loss the same. So that is how I go with risk management. Usually, that is the, the thing which I prefer to do. First, trying to get at the price, but then if it comes if it comes at the exact price entry. I meant just a little bit more to get the same risk I want. Okay. Ah, here is uh, Ilya is asking if somebody has no sound, uh, turn down quality of sound to 16-bit CD quality, and that was Citrix support which have told him. Okay, nice to know that. So very good to know that. So. To sit, I will copy that. Okay, great, thank you. Uh, so, that is how I do it, okay? Session recap, 6th of April results. Euro dollar gave us 30 pips. Pound dollar gave us 45 pips. Australian dollar gave us 60 pips. Dollar yen was a loss, minus 30 pips. And pound yen, 120 pips. Total pips pool is 225. Now, if you get 10, 20, 30 percent out of all maximum pips pool, you are still good because you were in a good profit of 20, 30, 40, even more pips. So this was the maximum available number of pips, and these were the total pip number per trade. Okay. I usually advise using a trailing stop, so usually we secure profits once we are in a profit. Now, uh, market plan for Euro Dollar was that we, because you saw how Euro Dollar was performing, we had a possible buy position at the exact level 20 to 30. I told you that we could have made a buy at 0 0.9, 20 to 30. And eventually, my target was 1.050. The thing is, price came three times testing 20 to 30 level. And what happened? For the first time, the price jumped some, <clears throat> something around 35 pips from this level to this level. Then, subsequently, it reversed just to jump again for some 20 pips. And eventually, it, it third time, it reversed for some... 20 pips, and then the level was broken, and now uh, Euro Dollar is in downtrend. So at the first touch of the level, you could have made 35 pips. And I always advise, always try to trade the first touch of the level. Then usually the first touch of the level is the most profitable one. So the first touch of the level is usually the most profitable one. Okay. Okay, let's see another trade setup.
it was pound dollar, okay, pound dollar, which was basically, I can say, uh, it was uptrend on pound dollar, and yes, it gave us nice pips, but still, still, it wasn't uh, that number which I was aiming for. We had a good level to buy, and look, usually this analysis and and uh, the price usually respect my entry level. But guys, I don't have a crystal ball. So sometimes it happens that price initially goes 20, 30, 50 pips, but then sometimes either it goes to break even or you can close it in profit, but sometimes it will touch the target, but it takes some time. So you should always pay attention to the price. I am using price momentum. I always use price momentum when I trade. When I give you the analysis, the setup, price momentum is what we are favoring. Now, sometimes, due to many reasons, the price just loses the momentum. If you're afraid that you will lose the trade or that you will lose pips, then guys, take your profit. Okay? It's up to you how you will manage the trade. So, this was the touch of the level. Initially, it was very, very good. So to the pip, great trade by, by pound dollar. So it gave us nice pips initially, some 45 pips in our direction. Then it reversed, it jumped off again, jumped off again. By the first touch, second, even third, fourth touch, all were profitable. Of course, if you enter here at this point, you would have made some 45 pips, okay? Australian dollar, again, it was very good concerning I had analysis that it showed the 7700 sell and it happened, exactly. We had a nice sell at this spot here. The price touched 7630 zone so it was good for some 70 pips and it was a very good trade maybe this also could have been considered a trade of the week but I picked a pound yen for the trade of the week so Australian dollar was also very good trade we had a big candle and what we did we fade the strength and from this spot it was rejected to this spot Pound yen, also pound yen, the trade of the week. We almost got this with a stop loss, but stop loss was never hit. We had a buy position around 117.95, and what happened? The price came two times, three pips minus the spread, of course, from the stop loss. So stop loss is probably, I said, 60. So minus spread, which is something around in between 2 and 3 pips. So stop loss is something around 58. And what happened? Price came to 62 two times, but then it was rejected almost to the target. It gave us 120 pip potential. So this is trade of the week. And the loss came from dollar yen. I tried to exploit the dollar yen range both directions, but the price didn't give us 118.30 on a pullback. Instead, this setup was triggered, and initially this setup was, I can say this pr price here didn't touch the stop loss, but eventually the pullback after the price was broken here, the level price level was broken, the pullback couldn't have sustained bearish momentum and the price jumped favoring dollar yen. So this was the only loss we had uh, from the last week. So 200 and more pips were available for the last recap. Exactly 225 pips available on the table for you. Now let's see today's setups and especially next few days. I think that we can sell again Euro at 1.0630 with 40 pips stop loss towards 1.0500. 
if today level today low is broken this will be definitely another breakout sell towards 0, 0, 0, 5, 0, 0, 0, 4, 75 if this level breaks so this is now major support and we are aiming to break the support okay and this is how it looks on euro dollar I will show you the chart now okay so this is how uh, euro dollar looks we have uh, a nice I can say equidistant channel if you put a channel here in you can you can place it uh, how oops, sorry you can place it however you wish but the exact spot is I will show you now okay okay now I need to draw it again this is okay it goes like this exactly like this okay. here look this is so-called equidistant channel and equidistant channel is a channel which strongly supports uptrend or downtrend. Equidistant channel is a dynamic channel. So, again, I can say we can rotate it if we have the opportunity for it. Now, this, it, this looks like this. But if we move the channel like this, we can see that the top of the channel can still be higher but it's still trapped in the channel here. The price, looks, look how it perfectly respects the channel. It jumps, it bounces off channel lines, giving us some confluence points we can subsequently trade from. And, uh, of course, by doing this, we need to also remember that, guys, today is Monday. Monday can be a little bit confusing. So instead of buying now at this point, look, it's, it went, if you read the analysis, guys, I hope that you read today's analysis, I told you to buy, to sell euro dollar, it says it's saving for new lows, at the time while I was making the analysis, price was 1.065610, it, it went to 20, I think, and then it dropped. And what did I say? The price should reject towards 1.0570 and 65. What we got from the trade, guys, is this. This trade was initiated and the price was reversed. Yes, the price was reversed heavily to 20 level. Now, this level is basically a support level. If it breaks, we can see a next leg over 0, 0, and uh, 48.75. So, guys, I think that we have now a good possibility to further short into Euro dollar. Now, obviously, I will pick up the level which I think it can serve me the most. This is it. I don't know if this happens to be a forming of inverted head and shoulders. You will see, but you will still be in initial profit. I think that price can reverse from this region again if it gets there. And uh, even though if it wants to make inverse head and shoulders, the first target will be something around 70. Okay? So you just need to trail the stop. Because if this is the left shoulder, if this is the head, now right shoulder should happen something like this. And it will try to test this level. So I think that we can sell the price from here, but we definitely need a, more of a pullback if it happens. And we will be ready to see where the price will bring us. Uh, as I say, this is also a confluence with 78.6 and very close to 61, but more closer to, but it's closer to 78.6 deep retracement. So if it hits this level, we have sellers here, so I think initially this price will be rejected again towards lower levels. This level is breakout zone, so I think if this level breaks, we can go with a trigger happy trade. Eventually, 
uh, or retest rate over 0, 0 and 45, uh, uh, 40, uh, sorry, it will be, it, it should be here, 47, 49, sorry, 75, I will mark this here, 49.75. This should be next level, I will zoom in it will be much easier to see okay okay so 49 40 here 75 yeah I marked it here so this should be it okay and if the price eventually shoots up from this region up to this level we can try to short because our stop loss is at 70 this is where our stop loss is. Look, now if this hits, it could be a reversal, but I don't think it has the momentum to break to this stop loss. So I will try to short it if it comes again to this level. And I would like to see break of this 1.0520, okay? Because if this level breaks, if this level breaks, guys then 1.0500 1.0975 will be the target now if you look at weekly chart weekly shows really a good support at 1.0350 but i i think that euro is very bearish because it failed to break 0 0.050 and there was a look at this what do you see on chart this is really a huge downtrend. This is monthly chart. And look how the price is making lower lows and lower highs. High, low, lower high, lower low, lower high, correction, then lower low. This is bearish. And I think that really that we should have uh, concerning intraday trades, this level should be, if it's retested, it should be re the price should be rejected from this level. Okay, so this is what I see on euro dollar and uh, intraday level is 1.04975. Okay, as I said, this should be the target for if 20 breaks, then zero zero should break psychological support zero zero and then this level here so we will see what will happen now on pound dollar I see a sell but uh, 4740 is potential sto uh, stop loss so if you want to sell it you can do it here you have 60 pip stop loss target is 50 45 zero zero uh, but uh, Remember, guys, you should fit into a 0 0.8 risk within those 60 pips. I think that this level is ultimately level for bearish price action. If this level breaks, then I think that trend on pound dollar can reverse again to the upside. So that is why uh, this is the only level here. I was waiting whole day for the price to come here, but uh, I am just not sure that, uh, that I wasn't sure exactly that the price will touch, will touch uh, uh, this level, but eventually it is touching it, and if you want to go, you can, okay? So guys, uh, please do, do, yes, this is, sorry guys, I will show you, yes, I'm on, this is, this is uh, just a need to switch my, my monitors. Now this is pound dollar. Yes, this is pound dollar. And uh, 60 pips you have to 47.40. This is the entry. But guys, I say specifically, 0 0.8 risk is the maximum risk I recommend per trade. Of course, if you're not gambling or I don't know what you want to do with your account, you should always pay attention to risk because sometimes you think that your trade is 100% sure and you can risk a lot, 
But guys, unless you want to deposit more and to risk more, I suggest always risking a little bit lower. And this should be the target. As I say, if this level rejects towards 45, good. But if this level breaks where the stop loss is, then the pound can be bullish again. Okay? This was uh, meant, of course, now this was meant to be a scalp trade for a sell, but we didn't. Now we, are, we hit this position. So this is active position here. We will see what will happen. And I really waited today, whole day for this setup. So 100 pips of a pullback. I, if it's bearish, but it looks like it's bearish, it should be rejected. This stop loss shouldn't be touched. If this stop loss is touched, then we can maybe think that pound will be in upper range again, which I wouldn't like to see because then we need to redo the analysis, whatever. Uh, this is the only scalp for a buy trade, and I think this level can be good for scalp because if the pound drops to this level, this is the scalp level, okay? And this is now what I see on uh, on uh, pound. I will show you the chart now. The chart is this is the pound here. And uh, look, uh, pound is really reversing. <laughs> I can mark this level here because this is the level swing level. Okay, this is the swing level. When pound was rejected when it broke. So this level was broken, then this level was rejected, that this level is in play again, but overall picture on four hour guys is bearish. This low has been broken, previous low, okay, new level was printed out. So if pound wants to continue with bearish setups, 4740 should not be hit. If this level is hit, then look, we are back in the range. Again, we are back in the range play. So let's just hope that pound will not hit that level and that it will proceed to our target, which I think we should see really, we should see that 4500 level and eventually even 4475. Okay, look, we had two rejections, so the price is trying to reach the zone, but pound is really resilient versus dollar, so uh, sometimes it behaves uh, as we don't want it to, but clearly from this chart you can see that it's bearish, weekly is bearish, heavily bearish, daily is bearish, four hour is bearish, one hour is a basically retracement, and this is the level where I see the retracement. So let's see what can happen, but of course, if this level is hit, then we need to redo pound analysis. Okay? Now let's switch to another setup. Okay, this was for the pound. Okay? Australian dollar. I can uh, see a possible sell at 76.30 because I thought, judging from last week price action, that really Australian dollar could have made it above 77.50. It was rejecting a lot of times during the week. The price was rejecting heavily. You could have seen that. The price was really rejecting heavily, but eventually what happened is that the price didn't want to listen to us, not to us. I, I mentioned that we can sell and we sold Australian dollar, but uh, I also was long on intraday time frames, and three times I was stopped for a break-even trade. And then I decided that there can be a time for uh, another analysis of Australian dollar, and judging from price action, what we've seen last night, this is bearish price action, and it looks like this major low, which was protecting Australian dollar from a break, 
was broken and it wasn't retested. So I think that if the price 7630 level is retested, we can see another low towards 7585 and 7550. Okay? So at least it should give us initial pips when it bounces back from this zone. So I, I, I think that now Australian dollar, almost similar situation with the pound, but I don't know what was the catalyst for pound move today, because pound dropped to 45.75 and it was bought for 100 pips. Uh, situation in Australian dollar looks more clear, because this level was broken, this was done today, and you see there is no huge pullback momentum. That is why I'm, I can say, a little bit concerned with pound, because this momentum is very bullish on one hour time frame. We don't have a slow grind to the, to the at price level as we have with Australian dollar and Euro dollar. This is a slow grind. Price is slowly grinding to our price level. Here also, price is slowly building towards our level, but pound is. This is too much of a strength. Really, if this level breaks, this is a complete diving board pattern, V-shaped reversal, and then bye-bye. I think that we won't be seeing a lot of short setups. Of course, UK elections are next catalyst for big pound move, but uh, logical for me is that pound is lower prior to election. So. Now, I don't see the real catalyst in pound, especially because dollar is holding up. Dollar is strong. It's still strong. So I'm not sure what is driving the pound so heavily. So I really prefer to see slow grind than huge momentum. But of course, if you trade with low risk, as I as I implying, with 0 0.8, 0 0.5 risk, then guys, you don't, sh you shouldn't be afraid of of a big stop loss. Of course, of course, everything is about the risk, how you manage the trade, how m much you want to invest, uh, lot size, volumes traded. It's about your risk, how much you're willing to to spend, how much you're willing to say goodbye to, because you're trading, guys, you're trading. Don't forget it. You're trading according to your risk. You're not trading according to your target price. You're always trading according to your risk. Do not forget it. No matter what other people or traders are telling you, your trading potential is based on your risk. So your risk is always should be low because banks use low risk. And don't forget, banks give you, banks give you, one to three percent per year. Don't forget it. Okay? So you should be better, but you should still keep the low risk. Now, obviously, if you want to recover the account, or if you want to, I don't know, double your account in, in a fast time, then this should be, of course, you should use a bigger risk. But if you have a good account and you still want to be in profit con consistently, then try to switch to low risk profile and remember what I'm saying always. Okay? So this is Australian dollar. Now let's move to another pair. I really think that dollar yen, despite the loss, I think that we can see another good push to the upside favoring dollar yen. Again, we are witnessing dollar yen strength, really. Because, as you could see, 119.50, which is now uh, resist, uh, support, has been broken last week to the upside with a huge momentum to the upside. Now what I see, judging from this price action momentum, we should see some nice strength into dollar yen, and eventually 121 could be hit. Now, dollar-yen and pound-dollar usually are not correl positively correlated. They are usually negatively correlated. So, that is why I'm really, I don't see pound catalyst for this pound strength. 
It's okay for euro dollar. I will sell it when it comes to 0 0.630. And you see pound dollar. It's rejecting from our level 80. But I don't like how it's rejecting at the moment because it still has huge momentum and it wants the break to the upside. Now, who is buying this? Technically, this sh I hope that this sh should not be a stop hunt because if this is a stop hunt, the price can be grabbed to 47.40. But let's see. Okay, that is and this is one of the reasons why I'm always saying, guys, you low use low risk because you don't know when big money, hedge funds, big banks, central banks, commercial banks, when they are ready to stop grab you. We are following big money. We are fish, they are sharks. We don't know when they will try to kill all the fish. That is why we need to use low risk. Forget about using 20% of a risk in a trade. Use low risk. And that's the way you should always be safe when you trade. Forget about promises, thousand, pr thousand uh, per, per, uh, percent per, per year, per month. That's gambling. That's not proper forex trading. Okay? Margin trading is always gambling. Martingale is always gambling. High frequency trading arbitrage is forbidden. I just hate when I see that traders fantasize about having 1,000 or 500 percent per year. Be realistic in your targets because you never know when big money is about to hunt fish. Never ever think that you're a god in trading because even if you are a great trader, you still can be stop grabbed and you still can kill your account in three days. So low risk profile is always the way to win. Okay? Dollar yen is inclined, it should go to the upside. This looks like it go it should go to the upside. Judging from this price action, this is inverted head and shoulders, guys. This is clearly seen on four hour time frame. Clear head and shoulders pattern on four hour time frame. And even beginner traders can see this. Left head right. Break of this level implied to another push to the upside. Now what do we see? <laughs> Some sort of a flat top ascending triangle which is what a bullish triangle bullish triangle okay I want to buy this close to 120 with stop loss at 190.50 okay ascending triangle flat top triangle is, as I say, another hint that the price should continue to go up. Inverted head and shoulders which is contained within the triangle and higher lows, higher highs on 4 hour time frame. Okay? 121.00 and 121.50 should be targets. Okay? Let's see what dollar yen can bring us. Okay. Now the last setup which I have for you for this week. Of course, I will publish new analysis tomorrow on Admiral Markets and definitely pay attention to Forex Street, my profile on Forex Street, where I sometimes post exclusive analysis. This is dollar CAD. One point twenty five sixty is a buy spot for me and 1.2530 is stop loss. I'm looking for 
2650 the target for dollar CAD okay and uh, I will show you now the screen for uh, dollar CAD okay this is dollar CAD and what do we see on dollar CAD we see basically a bullish range okay this is a bullish range and this is failed head and shoulders here left head right and you see this level was not broken so I would like to see a retest of this level because if this happens that will be another hint for the price around this region here that the price will go up okay and it looks like it's it wants to go up especially because of dollar strength okay especially because of dollar strength okay so this is how it looks on one hour intraday time frame okay failed head and shoulders rising trend line dollar strength and confluence with 61.8 trend line and previous breakout point here okay do not neglect the power of five time rejection from this spot so let's see what this week will bring us now of course guys if you have any questions you can ask me I will definitely uh, be rolling these slides again and if you have uh, any questions you can ask me uh, expect some volatility on pound dollar tomorrow there will be some strong news then guys expect some volatility on euro during this week check the calendar okay so this is euro dollar setup this is pound dollar setup this is Australian dollar setup this is dollar yen setup